You've got to get me on it now. I don't know where you are. That's, that's it. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Uh, we've just taken the van in for a service. Something you have to do every year in an MOT uh, to make sure it's legal to drive on the road. <laughs> And uh, so while we're waiting for that, we thought we'd just walk around. This is in Sheffield today. So just a short impromptu video while we have a coffee and whatever. Rather than waiting in the uh, car showroom, we just have a walk down the canal here, which sometimes is very interesting. This is an old part of Sheffield that was used for very, very industrial place uh, things like uh, um, cutlery. Very famous for cutlery in the olden days. Anywhere you went in the world many years ago as a kid, uh, you looked at the cutlery, it was always made in Sheffield. Now it's made in China and places like that, unfortunately. So there's not much industry here, but the canal is still there. So sometimes it can be quite interesting. See you later. So we're starting our walk by Sheffield Arena. We're just crossing the bridge over the canal and we're going to walk down the canal towards Tinsley Marina. You always you... find that really near a canal, there's always a railway. The canal came first, and to build the, the railway in obscure places where there was no roads, the canal was used to bring all the equipment to build the railways. So basically, that was the end game for the canal. I find it really interesting walking on the canal because you very, very rarely see anybody, the odd biker, the odd runner, there's very little traffic or people on the canal, which is nice. It's quite pretty. You see lots of wildlife, really uh, some nice, beautiful birds. Uh, and sometimes there's obviously fish in there. It's not very deep, but there is, there is some kind of fish in the canal. And swans, of course. We're actually walking on the Sheffield and Tinsley Canal at the moment. It's very quiet and very peaceful. Do you know what? It's very hard to imagine that you're in the middle of Sheffield because you can hardly hear any any cars. I can just hear something beeping in the background. But other than that, it's extremely quiet. You can't beat a bit of solitude walking along. And a couple of more cyclists that were very polite and said thank you. Sure. No, you're really seeing yeah, because it's no, it's not. It's the same level, isn't it? Yeah, it's it not going up or down. Yeah. So we'd have to find out what they actually was. Yeah. What's that metal structure after? Oh, oh yeah. It? You know, it's, it's more, it might be another bridge or something. Yeah. 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 It's a machine uh, thing, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it would have been open to lift things off. To get them off, and then the horse will be picked up, taken into that pool. Yeah. And this was a, 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 another one, a landing stage. A landing stage. So landing stage. Can you hear the bird song? It's lovely, isn't it? No, it's just parrots would like it down here. The parrots would love it down here. They seem to all the bird song. They don't oh. get to hear that, do they? No, no. There's a boat up here. I don't think Budgie, I don't think Billy the Budgie would like it. No, they're, no, they're, quite, they're quite alert to other sounds. I've mm. had Budgies outside before, but you've got boots yeah. for cats. I took one of my birds outside one day in his cage, and I was messing about with my car, bonnet up and everything. And then the neighbour came over, we were chatting, and suddenly the Budgie went absolutely crazy. The cat was trying to get it. Yeah. yeah, well, it's just nature, it's what they do. And uh, when, the, when the Budgie saw the cat, it's his DNA, he just flipped. Made itself you know, quite hard to catch a sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, Stresses them out, doesn't well, it? Well, the next one I ever said it could give them a heart attack. Yeah. So I, I took him in a little bit so I could let him relax. Because they don't forget that. It's quite sad. <laughs> and when you do, it's quite something. I might see some boats around the corner. Yeah. Can you imagine how busy this part of the canal was uh, 150 years ago, or 200 years ago. It would have been absolutely packed out with boats uh, bringing steel and steel products and made products out of here. So we're coming well, up to a pair of locks now. Yeah. We've got a fisherman just ahead of us. I wonder if he's had any luck today. To me, I, I, I don't think I'd enjoy fishing, but I can understand it's probably quite a relaxing sport in your own thoughts. 
it's a, a bit of mindfulness that's what it is it's a swing bridge i think that's what we saw back there was the uh, the remnants of an old swing bridge oh, right. i think this is a swing bridge here i'm not sure until we and get closer loose, uh, here, oh it's a bit chilly yeah you can see the oh, loose it's, it's come off this morning yeah it's tinsley flight so it says Tinsley Flight, yeah. so there's probably more than one. Morning. Morning. Crazy <laughs> <laughs> today. Katie May. It's a nice name for a boat, Katie May the second. It's lovely. Very good. Oh look at that structures in the water. So we've just approached Tinsley Lock number one and there's a very small marina here as well. I often think it must be a very idyllic life living on a narrow boat. And there's Bob chatting to the guy that homes Katie May the second. I'm often fascinated how locks actually work. companies now like the canal and river trust the national trust um, english heritage all of those places they all rely heavily on volunteers yeah but he's got choices you've got choices haven't you some motorhomes over there as well yeah so that lock gate's open as well this particular canal was opened in 1819 to carry boats between the navigable river don and a new basin in the center of sheffield the Sheffield and Tinsley Canal forms the upper four miles of the Sheffield and South Yorkshire navigation. Earth toilet, so that's, yeah. <laughs> that's just like if you've got a dog poo, isn't it? I suppose you could pick up after them. No. Well, you're pretty good at cleaning up in the camper van and changing the cassette. Yeah, 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 yeah
thing. But... It's no different really than having a camper van, no, it's not. except you're on the water. Yeah. Yes. You got the cost of diesel. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you want to go on to the Thames, you've got to pay extra money to whoever runs the Thames. So they all want their pound of flesh from you. No, I wouldn't be a bit scary. Yeah, this guy here. What's that, the Maya Rose? Which one? It, it, it looks like it, yeah, it's got lots of solar panels. Yeah. It's trying to be off grid. Yeah. And it's got the thing on the back. He can't run through a lot no. of tunnels. No. Uh, it, I don't know if it's like the Because a lot of these can take their cratch down, can't they? He can. No, uh, he can't. This one here, there's a crash. Yeah, yeah he and can take that down. Look how many solar panels he's got. So, and you can point them to the sun. Yeah. It's not that important, actually. Uh, no, you if you've got a nice... Where, where the sun comes up, it is. Yeah. Careful, don't you? See, this lock three, this gate's open as well. They are, they're permanent moorings. They've got gardens. This is lock three, Tinsley lock three. So at the moment, we're walking towards Meadow Hall. At the time, when it was built in 1990, Meadow Hall was the second largest shopping centre in the UK. The locks we're walking past at the moment are in close proximity of each other and I think we're just now approaching lock four, which is only maybe a hundred yards from lock three. So it's a flight of, I'm not sure how many, I can see one more in front of us. The thing is Yorkshire is very hilly, so to account for that you have to have lots of locks to take the boat either up a level or down a level. Sheffield is known as uh, the Seven Hills, the Seven Hills around Sheffield and obviously when the steelworks came or the ironworks before that uh, they needed lots of water so you find that any foundries or steelworks or ironworks from old times were always built in the bottom of a valley because of the water structure and also the things like mills in Huddersfield which is West Yorkshire they were always built near water because water powered the uh, mills and the looms in the mills are running water uh, with uh... I don't know what that's called better to do that yeah some really old stones on the left hand side which someone's done a little bit of graffiti on isn't that nice of them it a little bit more modern I suppose. Amazingly when the uh, canals were built originally there was no heavy machinery to move these stones. They were all built, uh, um, they were all moved by hand using logs to roll them on and ropes and pulleys. Uh, obviously building and construction is a lot easier now uh, and uses less manpower. Many many years ago when they built these canals they had to dig it out so all the spoil went to one side of the canal that raised the profile of that um, and so you can still see where the soil went just like they were doing when they were building roads many many years ago this is a little uh, place where you can turn a boat round it's called a winding hole or a winding hole um, they didn't have engines years ago they had horses pulling the uh, canal boats so the wind or the air coming through the trees or whatever would turn the boat using the tiller uh, and a rope with your mate at the other side of the thing would turn the boat around because being a 
canal they're very narrow oh this one is a broad canal so you can put a little bit of a bigger barge on here this is a winding hose here if you wanted to turn around and to our left through the trees you wouldn't believe it there's actually an ikea we are so close to big superstores and a stone's throw from that meadow hall shopping center and this is now tinsley lock number six and there's another one ahead which i suppose will be tinsley lock number seven we just passed a guy down the um, canal who was coming he's got a canal boat that he moors up he lives in a house but every year he's retired he, him, him and his wife get on the canal and just go around the country which is quite a nice thing to do especially in nice weather right it doesn't look quite so inviting around here there's a lot of graffiti um, just looks a little bit run down if it tells the truth here's another lock this is lock um, seven and eight This, this one here drops the level really low. So if we just look over here, you'll see how deep this lock is. Now what you have to do is that water is really high. You have to get your boat there. You have to open these gates slowly, let the water fill this lock, and the ladder there helps you get out on your boat. So once your boat's in here, you close that lock gate so the water will be near on the surface. And then you open that one there to let you to allow you to vote to go through there and then courtesy is that you close the lock again. And you can see as we go over this lock how much higher the water level is. So you're dropping, you're going downhill and eventually you'll have to go back uphill again. Quite amazing. The engineering of 200 years ago and the thought process was absolutely fantastic. And I think right in front of me here is an old, looks like an old railway bridge, to be honest with you, I'm not sure about that. It's disused now because there's all plants growing on it. Nothing could get across it, it's full of plants. Used. We're just going to have a little walk up the top of the bank to see what's at the top. So it might little be a bit wobbly because oh, maybe it's not disused. Probably in one side of it, it is used. I'm not sure it used to be a double. Bridge, yeah. Two-way traffic. All right. So, if I just zoom up, if you can see that busy road, that is actually the M1. The main highway. The M1. That's the main road. Oops, a bit. Still busy, lots of traffic, and um, it's, it just goes into the city. And most cities in the UK you can travel through on the canal, and it takes you into the very, very old industrial areas, which are sometimes not the prettiest, but at least you're going into part of a, uh, a city that you would not normally walk or drive into. Beautiful stone, all hands. Out of a massive big rock of granite. Yeah. Right, we're coming to a very built up area now, and we're probably about 50 yards away from the M1, which is the highway, which is the highway from north to south. I think we're actually going to walk under the M1. You see the old stonework here on the left uh, that was built. I mean, originally, when the canal was built 200 years ago, 
still stands amazing uh, the, the, the work that people did in those days not using the cement that we uh, use now uh, using lime a mixture and it's still here if you just move along you've got some recent graffiti from some very up-and-coming artists let's say Since we've been walking along this canal, I've not seen a duck, a goose, or even a swan, which is really unusual. So what about a building bin? Well, it could be in there, same as for the buses. Alright. You know, they have facilities, but not like we have now. We can see there's a building there with... Uh, the roof goes like that, there's one at the other side. Yeah. And you'd better put the horses and more up at night time. Ah. Uh, it's nice to travel at night, more about some really nice Yeah. Like and after about four days of going in there, the horses need to sleep. Of course they do. It would have been busy around here. That's what I think, it's the brick one's gone back to the town, I think. The roof does it, the facilities. Not so you need to go to any other one. There would have been like on the, the side, you know, there would have been a box one. They may have been a fence, it would have been a spoon. shame that these buildings become derelicts aren't they really well there's no use when the canals are a different place yeah no horses anymore the world's a different place yeah. look at these steel windows yeah steel window frames like that amazing yeah things down but it's good to see old structures and you can imagine how busy it was around this place at one time they've got the old uh, tiles that were glazed tiles still yeah. So it was probably a stable that could wash down with a hose and things like that. With lots of horses on the uh, canal that needed shodding by blacksmiths, and obviously probably a nice rest every now and then. So there's uh, evidence of things tacked on the wall. I was just looking for a nail or something sticking out. Oh, right. all the all the metalwork would have been wrong. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. It's, not, it's not unusual on the side of a canal to find a river. Uh, the original river uh, that runs through a town or because they needed water for the canal and this was the original source uh, of water. under the M1 now, on the canal and I think we're going to actually end this video around about here because yeah. we've walked about two miles um, we've had a lovely time that gentleman we've just passed is only the second person besides the cyclists that we've seen in two miles 